What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am the Mint, and today I bring you guys kind of a weird, strange video. Um, actually, most of my videos are very weird and strange, but anywho, uh, I'm doing a comparison. Um, you know, kind of like, almost like in a way I'm reviewing and expressing my own opinions on a very specific topic, which is sniping both in Black Battlefield 4 and Black Ops 3. And I have gameplay from both, which is very unusual for me to do, but I decided I, I'll make it kind of like a versus video. And I'm going to start with Battlefield 4. I believe in Battlefield 4, it is a lot more rewarding. If you get sniper kills, you get a lot more points. It's it's challenging, but it's doable. Um, and overall, there's a lot more uh, you know, selection of snipers and attachments. And, you know, just a whole viscerate worth of shit that you can put on your sniper, which is really cool. And the number one thing that I'm guessing that everybody would work for is the straight pole, which um, instead of, you know, curving, because they're all bolt action, instead of you curving the little bolt thing, you just pull it straight back and then put it back in. And it's simple and you don't have to aim out or zoom out uh, when you're zoomed in trying to find somebody. Um, and hard scoping is not like a noobish thing to do in Battlefield 4 because sometimes you really need to do that to get a precise shot because it's more of a you know, tactical shooter, at least in my mind. It's first person, but still involves, you know, use of brain, I guess you would call it. When it comes to Black Ops 3, I noticed a really big trend with Treyarch in particular. Treyarch is not very fond of sniping. They actually, I believe that they kind of hate sniping in a way. Um, so they, you know, they did a lot of crazy shit with sniping, like, uh, well, against sniping about uh, Black Ops 2. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny, and in Black Ops 3, they decided to completely take away aim assist out of sniper rifles, and it defeats the purpose of balancing the weapon. And my belief is, if you're not going to give all the weapons fucking um, aim assist, because it's impossible, you know, if your average player can't just pick up a sniper rifle and do well with it. Your average player will struggle and be pissed off, and they're not going to want to snipe. So, the point is... Just take sniper rifles completely out of the game. There is no point. Don't add them as DLC. Don't put them in the game if you're not going to give them the equal aim assist that you have on all other weapons. Because as of right now, any average player picks it up, they're going to get destroyed. However, you have very well experienced players, um, which you guys all know there are like guys on YouTube that do exceptionally well with a, with a sniper rifle, but they spend hours and hours trying to get good gameplay. And it's frustrating because they can't just go in raw and just uh, like do good every game with a sniper rifle and have amazing shots every single game. They have to play a few games to warm up. They have to play a few games. Like that's how I am with Battlefield. I play one game to one, maybe two games to warm up with the snipers, and then I do very well. But I could do, always do better. But I'm not going to be complete ass, you know. So it takes time to warm up and shit. So that, what I'm trying to say is. Um, honestly, sniping Battlefield 4 is a lot more funner, it's a lot more rewarding, um, it's fair, you know, it does take, you know, skill, there's also bullet drop, which you don't have in Call of Duty, um, that's the difference, you don't have, you don't have, you do have aim assist on Battlefield for snipers, but you have bullet drop, and you have to be very precise and know what the fuck you're doing, it involves a little bit more brain power, at least that's what it seems like to me. When it comes to Call of Duty, no aim assist, but there's no bullet drop, so, you know, if you can aim and the guy's not moving, you can probably get that kill. But if he's moving, there's absolutely no way for you to determine if you're going to actually hit him with the fucking, uh, you know, with the Lotus. You don't know if you're going to actually hit him because you have no aim assist. Aim assist helps to it almost like tracers the bullet into uh, the hitbox. That's what the aim assist was really good for. A lot of people don't know. It's like a secret thing. But, um, you know, just to further explain this, um, it's just basically... You know, like, when you have aim assist, it will stop your the movement of your cursor slowly. It'll slow it down a little bit as you hit the character model. And once you shoot that bullet, it will, 9 out of 10, it will hit in the hitbox. You still have to be within the, a very particular area. That's what aim assist helps you with, is to keep steady on that target so you, you have a greater chance of getting that kill. Um, and it's on every pistol, on every SMG, every assault rifle, shotgun. It's on, oh, they, they did this thing where it's a small, like a four, maybe three percent of a aim assist on snipers, but they're only the semi-autos. The bolt actions 
zero because apparently bull actions are, you know, something that David Von Ahar just regurgitate. Well, he ate and then he threw up. Maybe he took a little shit and mixed it in there, um, you know, and said, fuck it, here's a sniper up for four of you guys. You know, it's kind of like, that's my personal opinion, and I don't like sniping Black Ops 3. I really hate it, and if David Von Ahar, if you ever see this fucking video, I have to tell you, don't put fucking sniper rifles in your fucking games, because your sniper rifles are complete ass. You have to be either Pimage uh, uh, on YouTube or some other guy that's really, really good with sniping. Your average bear is not going to be able to snipe. There's my uh, I hate Call of Duty rant alongside me actually being like opinionated and critici uh, criticizing uh, you know Black Ops 3 on an actual legitimate level and ranting about it. It's really cool. It's a great blend. It's very deceptive. But anywho, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. If you didn't like the video, leave me a comment. You know, subscribe. All of it is uh, what they call feedback. So I appreciate it. Peace. The mint out.